Hello, I'm Archie Luxury and today I'd like to talk about the Docker Daimlers. That's right, the Docker Daimlers. And uh, firstly, what happened was Lady La Nora Docker, now she was, she actually married, she married a uh, Lady Docker born Nora Royce Turner, <coughs> was an English socialite. A dance hostess at a club in her youth, she married three times on each occasion to an executive at a business that sold luxury goods. Her third marriage to Sir Bernard Docker, he was chairman of Birmingham Small Arms and its subsidiary Daimler Company, was notable for the company's excessive behaviour, which was often funded by tax write-offs and company expenditure that could not be legitimately defended. Now, this led to Sir Bernard's removal from BSA's board, board of directors. She was also banned from the French Riviera by Prince Rainer after an incident involving the, mo the, the, uh, the flag of Monaco. And uh, it's a very, very interesting tale. And it, it deserves a bit of airplay on the Archie Luxury channel. And uh, she was also a a champion marbles player, and uh, she um, she went to the the Olympics in Australia in 1956. She attended the Olympics, um, and she challenged the suburb of Collingwood to a marbles match. And uh, but anyhow, I want to talk about the Docker Daimlers. So she married. A guy who was who was who was a um, who was actually he wasn't a guy he was the the guy in charge of Birmingham Small Arms BSA you heard of the um, the motorbike brand and uh, they owned Daimler and uh, she then got onto the um, the board of um, of a, a coach builder Hoopers and uh, she challenged her husband to uh, to, uh, to build the profile of Daimler and she thought the best way to do this was to create an exhibition car which which they uh, would use for a year and uh, replace. So, so they, they basically commissioned a series of Daimlers built to Lady Docker's specifications and uh, they, they, were, they were for the show circuit and they used them. And the cars they had, there was the 1951 The Gold Car, a.k.a. Golden Daimler. It was a gold car, was a touring limousine, uh, based on a uh, 36 straight 8 chassis. And uh, it was covered with 7,000 tiny stars. The car was taken to Paris, the United States, and to Australia. In 1952, there was the Blue Clover. Uh, which was a two-door sportsman's coupe. 1953, the Silver Flash was an aluminium-bodied coupe based on a three-litre Regency, Regency chassis. Its accessories included solid silver hairbrushes and red-fitted luggage made from crocodile skin. In 1954, the Stardust. In 1955, the final Docker car was the Golden Zebra. The Golden Zebra was a two-door coupe uh, based on the DK400 chassis. Like the gold car, which was the first one, the Zebra had all its metal trim pieces plated gold instead of chrome. Beyond that, it had an ivory dashboard and a zebra skin upholstery. Explaining the zebra skin upholstery, Lady Docker said, because mink is too hot to sit on. And uh, alongside the show car, she, she also used some other Daimlers, some unmodified Daimlers. But um, it sort of ended badly for all concerned because what happened was uh, the royal family, who had been traditional Daimler customers, they switched allegiances to Rolls-Royce. And uh, Sir Bernard... Sir Bernard was, um, Sir Bernard, at the end of 1956, Bernard Docker was removed from the board of BSA, where he'd been chairman. Lady Docker resigned from the board of directors at Hooper, that's the coach builder. 
the company which owned the Docker Daimlers had Lady Docker return them. And uh, yes, very, very interesting indeed. The issues leading to the removal of the Dockers stem from the extravagant expenses they presented to the company, including the show cars made available for Lady Docker's personal use. A £5,000 $5, gold and mink ensemble that Lady Docker wore at the 1956 Paris Motor Show that she tried to write off as a business expense as she was only acting as a model at the show. And Gladfi Castle bought with £12,500 of BSA's money and refurbished for £25,000 again with company money. Shortly after BSA dissociated itself from the Dockers, Lady Docker bought a Bentley Continental from Daimler's rival Rolls-Royce. Touché. And uh, it's, a, it's a very, very interesting situation. The, um, the Dockers themselves, without the main, their main source of income, the Dockers began to run out, run out of money. In 1965, Bernard Docker put his yacht, Shimara, on the market for £600,000. It eventually sold for £290,000. In 1966, the Dockers sold their estate in Hampshire and moved to Jersey in the Channel Islands, becoming tax exiles. Lady Docker later said of the people of Jersey, they are the most frightfully boring, dreadful people that have ever been born. She died in 1983, and uh, just an interesting life, complete excess and completely at home on the Archie Luxury channel. I'm Archie Luxury, and I hope you've enjoyed this look at the Docker Daimlers. Tell me what you think. Ushered into the back seat where the Queen Mother once sat is today's passenger, Debbie Callingham, daughter-in-law of the infamous Lady Docker. In their day, the Dockers were as famous for their glamorous lifestyle as they were for running one of Britain's biggest motor groups, particularly Lady Docker, or Naughty Nora, as she was known. She said, be expensive, and that's why she loved Daimler so much, you know, because they were expensive. The thing was that she brought a bit of light into the 50s. She made people think, well, yeah, there is still fun about, you know, after dreary war years. All Castleford was out as a gold-plated Daimler drove by. This luxurious transport brought Lady Docker to a marbles match in aid of the British Empire Cancer Relief Fund. She was leading her team against a group of local factory girls. Yes, whether it's Monte Carlo or marbles, Lady Docker's a star performer. She certainly was. She even became Britain's marbles champion. Nora Docker always took a keen interest in the promotion of Daimler, the company her husband ran. The pre-war market for these grand cars was in carrying the well-off majestically from place to place. After the war, sales of Daimlers plummeted. Naughty Nora tried to change all this. She liked the idea of a car being something that was uh, attractive and, you know, um, fashionable. Each year, the Dockers commissioned a brash new Daimler for their own use. First was the gold car. It stole the 1951 Earl's Court Motor Show, boasting 7,000 hand-painted gold stars, an interior trimmed in golden silk, cabinets made from a single trunk of Australian camphor wood, and fitted luggage covered in the skins of a swamp load of crocodiles. In a Britain hungry for glamour, the Dockers were rivals to royalty. They even had a yacht to match Britannia. The Shimara, the luxury yacht on which the Dockers have entertained, among others, parties of miners. After all, one of these chaps might be thinking of buying a Daimler. And if he's hesitating, Lady Docker wants to help him make up his mind. The newsreel cynicism was well founded. The trouble was, the Dockers' gin palace lifestyle was repugnant to Daimler's traditional customers. And it didn't come cheap. OK, they went through £5 million pounds in two years in the, in the 50s, which is quite a lot of money. It was such a dull, grey sort of period of time that it appeared to be vulgar. 
I don't think the cars were vulgar at all. I think the cars were brilliant. Brilliant the cars might have been, but their opulence was somehow out of keeping for holders of a royal warrant. The reason that the royals changed from Daimler's to Rolls's was because of the Dockers. They didn't want, you know, a car that was anyway attached to some woman as uh, she was. After five over-the-top cars, the shareholders finally rebelled when Nora spent £8,000 on dresses for the Paris Motor Show. She called it advertising. The shareholders, it seems, are ungrateful. They prefer more orthodox advertising. And in spite of the Dockers' eloquence, they confirm the sacking. 